Hello and welcome to today's installment of Learning OS X. In today's installment, we're going to be looking at the application firewall that's shipped with OS X. The application firewall's purpose is to control connections made to your computer from other computers on the network. There are typically two types of firewall software. In the first type, you must know network ports and protocols and some of the underlying technology involved in connecting computers to the internet. And this is typically uh, a challenge for uh, most new users. Um, so Apple has taken a different approach to their firewall. They have created what's called an application firewall. And in this type of firewall, network communications controlled on a application by application basis rather than a per port basis. And this makes it easier for less experienced users to gain some of the benefits of firewall protection without having to worry about some of the underlying technology involved in securing your computer. Now, in many cases, your OS X system will be behind a hardware router before it's connected to the internet. And most hardware routers provide uh, firewall protection. So if your OS 10 system is connected to your home network, for example, you may not necessarily need to run the application firewall. However, the application firewall becomes useful if you're using a MacBook on an untrusted network, such as a coffee shop or an airport, or basically any location where you aren't in control of the network configuration. So we'll begin looking at the application firewall by starting the system preferences and going to security and you can see there are three tabs under in the security application we'll click on the firewall and the application firewall basically has three modes of operation the first mode is to allow all incoming connections and this essentially is the most open mode and in effect really is uh, disabled uh, the firewall is really disabled in, in this mode. This will basically allow any uh, application that's running to allow incoming connections. The other option is to allow only essential services. So this can be considered the most conservative of the application firewall settings. And when it's configured, will only allow the most essential services required uh, for your system to operate properly. The third option is what you would typically set the firewall to uh, if you were to choose to enable it. And this is to allow access for specific services and applications. When the firewall is in this setting, you can control which programs have uh, will allow or deny incoming connections to the internet. When you enable this, you can see by default in this uh, scroll down list, a list of applications that have registered themselves as network applications and you can choose to allow or block incoming connections by those applications. In addition to uh, the default list, you can also add additional programs that may not have registered themselves as applications. For example, if Chess had a networking component, you could select the Chess program and maybe you don't want to allow uh, incoming connections to the, your Chess program so you can block those incoming connections. You can just as easily remove the application by clicking the minus key. In addition to the list of applications, there's a list of services that are set up to allow application access through the firewall. And these are uh, not configured in this application, but in the uh, system preferences application specific for uh, internet sharing. And finally, the advanced button is enabled when you click uh, the third option. And this basically gives you some additional uh, configuration options. By default, firewall logging is enabled. And it's probably a good idea to leave this setting alone because it will basically log access attempts to the firewall. You can view the firewall log to see what programs may have uh, tried to uh, make incoming connections. And then finally, the application firewall allows you to enable stealth mode. Stealth mode is uh, 
a good idea to enable because it basically hides your computer completely from the internet and prevents uh, hackers from performing, uh, from seeing your computer if they were to perform what's called a port scan of your system. Uh, so it basically tries to uh, make your computer look as if it's not even connected to the internet. So it's a good idea to leave this, uh, to enable it and leave it set for your firewall session. So there we go, that concludes our brief tour of the application firewall. Uh, and as I said before, it's a good idea to run the application firewall, that is to set access for specific services and applications if you're running your uh, Mac system in a uh, network outside of your control. To learn more about OS X and to view other instructional videos, you can go to learningosx.com. Thank you and We'll see you soon.